Yes, I was. It's happening. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I like to tell people I was born, raised in Kampala, Uganda. Every show I do, I introduce myself. And a fellow entertainer came up to me recently, and they were like, why do you always have to tell the audience you're African? Why do you always have to tell? It's kind of an unfair advantage. <laughs> and then I thought about it. I'm like, that makes sense, because everyone in this room knows what a big advantage being African is in this world. Oh, such a big advantage. Everyday Africans wake up and they're like, holy crap, look at all these advantages. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are we gonna do with all these advantages? This is, we should give some of this back. This is, this is overwhelming. This is, call Canada, find out if they need advantages because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I actually get laugh at that, but, uh, but it upsets me that it's 2011 and we still don't get the benefit of civilization. Like, Africans don't get the benefit. It's 2011, like, seriously, and it slips into your pop culture, and you guys don't even think about it. You guys don't even think about it, but as someone who grew up on the continent, it bothers me to know, and I'll give you the perfect example. This lovely girl calls me up, and she's like, hey, it's a Sunday afternoon. Why don't I come over to your place? I'll bring some movies and some hot chocolate, and we'll have a good time. I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> But keep the hot chocolate, there's enough already right here. Uh, ladies, right? <laughs> she shows up with a movie called He's Just Not That Into You. All of you women have watched this movie. Some of you men have been forced to watch this movie. <laughs> For those of you who have survived, I'll try and explain. This is a movie that came out a couple of years ago that talks to women. It tells them, listen, if a man treats you like crap in your relationship, or a man doesn't call you back after a first date, he's just not that into you. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> but apparently you women need a book and a movie to figure this stuff out. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not judging. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. This movie starts off with one very important moment in every girl's life. She's gone out on a first date, she's gone back home, she's waited, the call hasn't come, now her self-esteem is all messed up. She has to call all her friends together to build it back up, and girls will do this for each other. They'll sit around and be like, you're beautiful, you're amazing, oh my goodness, I wish I had your tits. Ah! <laughs> and this movie is trying to capture it in different parts of the world, right? So it's with some American women sitting around a table, and the one girl is like, I don't know why he didn't call me back. And her friends were like, you know why he didn't call you back? He didn't call you back because of all the confidence you showed on your first date. He was intimidated by that. I was like, lies. <laughs> but so very deep, so very thoughtful. Then they showed some French women sitting around the table and the one girl's like, I don't know why he didn't call me back. Friends were like, you know why he didn't call you back? He didn't call you back because of all the emotional maturity you show when you're hanging out with him. Men are so immature. Uh -huh. I was like, no, it's because she's ugly, but okay. <laughs> she had some Asian women sitting around, the one girl is like, I don't know why he didn't call me back. Friends were like, you know why he didn't call you back? He didn't call you back because of all the success you've had in your professional life. Men are intimidated by that. <laughs> I was like, no, ugly again, but okay. <laughs> so very thoughtful, so very deep. Then they showed some African women, butt naked, sitting on the ground. And the one girl is holding her cell phone going, I don't know why he didn't call me back. And her friends were like, maybe he was eaten by a lion. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did the lion come from? Everywhere else in the world, there's emotional attachments, success, and all with Africans, some jungle cut snuck up on him. <laughs> before he could dial your number. <laughs> How messed up do you think our priorities are? These women had cell phones, yet they were butt naked. Like, <laughs> don't you get a t-shirt before getting a texting plan? What in the world do you think we're doing? <laughs> Soon I realized to you, but for us getting home is just victory against the lions. That's all it is. It's not honey, I'm home. It's honey, I wasn't eaten today. <laughs> so if you know anyone that enjoyed that movie, don't go fuck themselves. Uh, <laughs> on behalf of an entire continent. But I do love, I live in Canada, and I love it. I love, I love living in this country. I mentioned having the ladies coming over to the house because uh, I, love, I love Canadian girls because they think I'm exotic, um, <laughs> especially when they're drunk. Because it's always like, oh my goodness, you have an accent. <laughs> Where are you from? You have an accent. And I'm always like, drink up. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, 
But ladies, I want to talk to you for a minute. You meet someone from a different part of the world and you have questions, you want to learn about a different culture, go ahead, ask questions. I encourage it, but pick and choose a time and I will explain. I was dating this wonderful Canadian girl and one night I was making sweet love to her or what I thought was sweet love because ladies and gentlemen, I was bringing it. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> muscles were bulging, sweat was coming down my forehead. I was saying things I'd never said before. She was mourning and screaming. I was mourning and screaming. She was mourning and screaming. I was mourning and screaming. I looked into her eyes. She looked into my eyes and she went, do they have Christmas trees in Africa? <laughs> I have no idea what pissed me off more. The fact they said us as well were having sex or the fact that I took time out to answer the question. Right? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful good night. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting.